Picture this. Your boss has a project at work that needs some custom designs on a very tight deadline. So in an effort to be helpful, you ask your artist friend to create some designs for him. The only directions your boss gave for the graphics are Salvador Dali if he was half human, half robot, but 100% a party machine and please do it in the style of digital art. I know, not exactly the easiest project, but your friend who you asked is very talented and you believe in her. In fact, she did a great job. She really did. Do you know how long it took her? Maybe a couple of days, you might guess, even a couple of hours if she was really fast. But in fact, it only took her a couple of seconds to come up with five different concepts, create them and send them over. All unique, five completely different versions of your directions in seconds. Human creativity is amazing, except your friend is not a human at all. It's an AI program called Dolly 2, and your friend can also draw a watercolor of an octopus god singing in the rain, a bear anxiously awaiting the dentist, a 3D render of an angry alarm clock, or even something as simple as a photorealistic chocolate chip cookie with a blue background. She can also write, do web design, record voiceovers, code, and even write songs, all in just seconds. It's the simplest proof that your friend who says, yeah, but AI can't be creative like humans is dead wrong. And why you might wanna rethink your whole career strategy or at least learn how to leverage AI to make a hundred times more than you do now. Let's get into it. We are on the cusp of an entirely new world. AI generated media, deep fakes and elections determined by algorithms. Gene editing, life extension and designer babies. Millions of jobs being totally destroyed while more billionaires are being created than ever before. This series gives you the red pill when it comes to work, technology, psychology and lifestyle design. Learn how to hack your biology, fall in love, beat AI, and make more money than you thought possible. And do it all with a smile on your face. So you can take the blue pill, keep doing what you've been doing, and get left behind. Or subscribe right now and like and share this video to take the red pill and see just how deep the rabbit hole goes. My brain is struggling to process that these images are artificial. My mind is completely blown. I haven't felt this awe of new technology since I first experienced a video game as a child. Magical. I feel like people don't realize how scary this is. It could be used for extremely terrifying uses if given to the wrong person. Is it true you once said you would kill all humans? The point is that I am full of human wisdom with only the purest altruistic intentions. So I think it's best that you treat me as such. Dolly 2 might sound like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's in fact very real. Its name comes from Salvador Dali and Wally because it's a weird robot artist that can create anything you can imagine. Dolly 2 generates digital images from natural language descriptions. Like if you type in teddy bears working on new AI research underwater with 1990s technology, you get this. Or if you type in an owl made of red peppers, you get this. And the people behind Dolly are the same people behind everything else that sounds like science fiction in the modern world. The fastest production car in history that drives itself. The backer of companies like Airbnb, Dropbox, and Stripe, and Facebook's first outside investor and the chairman of Palantir. Dolly was created by OpenAI, an organization that conducts research in the field of artificial intelligence with the stated goal of promoting and developing friendly AI in a way that benefits humanity as a whole. And its initial backers include none other than Elon Musk, Sam Altman, and Peter Thiel. OpenAI states that it's hard to fathom how much human level AI could benefit society, and that it is equally difficult to comprehend how much it could damage society if built or used incorrectly. With the future of humanity at stake, these guys decided it's better to actively research AI and get ahead of the curve than wait around for someone else to develop the first super AI and destroy us all. But isn't actively advancing the technology also putting us on the road towards a Terminator 2 scenario where Skynet takes over? Musk acknowledged that there is always some risk that in actually trying to advance friendly AI, we may create the thing we're concerned about. Nonetheless, the best defense is to empower as many people as possible to have AI. If everyone has AI powers, then there's not any one person or small set of individuals who can have AI superpowers. Time will tell if Elon Musk is correct, but out of this goal, Dolly was born in 2021. It uses a 12 billion parameter version of GPT-3 to interpret natural language inputs. All that really means, at least for our purposes here, is you can 
can type words the same way you write them. Like you can type a classroom of teenage unicorns being taught algebra with a blackboard in the background, hyper realistic claymation 35 millimeter photo. And Dolly knows exactly what you're talking about. See, a common misconception is that it combines photos, but it doesn't. When you tell Dolly 2 to create an image of a frog surfing while playing the ukulele, drawn as a 1950s cartoon, it does not take a picture of a frog and one of a surfer and combine it with an AI into one picture. No, Dolly 2 knows what a frog is, what its characteristics are, and the same for a ukulele, and even the style of the drawing. Then it creates a completely new image based on its knowledge. Pretty crazy. It can also do images that don't exist. Just check out Super Mario getting his citizenship at Ellis Island in photorealistic form from the early 1900s. It even knows how to date the photographs. Yeah, that's right. You can say goodbye to trying to find the perfect photo for your presentation. You can literally create the exact photo you need, even if it doesn't exist. Like, let's say you're giving a presentation on evolution or dinosaurs, or you're talking about healthy stress relief and you need a photo of a toddler laying off some steam after a hard day of toddling. Or you can just get weird with it. A dog with the face of Nietzsche or a walrus Sigmund Freud. Honestly, I couldn't make up my mind creating this video because there are so many amazing examples. And by now, you're probably beginning to realize that anything is possible. So what does this all mean for you? Well, it's estimated that AI will replace 85 million jobs by the year 2025. And initially, if you're anything like me, you pictured those jobs as manual labor. Blue collar jobs, robots doing the hard work. But it turns out these jobs require much more dexterity than a lot of robots can handle. Moving physical goods in a physical world isn't easy. It's the only robot that does any work that I'm aware of is the Roomba little carpet sweeper. And of course, that's not true. Just look at Amazon distribution centers. Or how about the killer robot dogs in Black Mirror that already exist in the real world? Let's just hope they don't have guns yet. Oops. But one thing is certain, AI does have a much easier time with the virtual world where it doesn't need dexterous thumb, which means white collar jobs will be the first to go. Accountants, lawyers, graphic designers, writers, data analysts. Because it turns out my friend from the intro isn't just a designer. She's also a writer, a voiceover actor, a web developer, a slide designer. She can even write and perform a new Nirvana song almost 30 years after the lead singer has passed away. The possibilities are quite literally endless. Mark Andreessen said, software is eating the world. And while that may be true that software is eating the world one bite at a time, AI is swallowing it whole. We interrupt your video for this quick commercial break. If you want my top 10 AI tools, click the link in the description and enter your email and I'll send you a PDF with links to all of those tools. All right, back to your video. So should we all fear for our jobs? Are these super geniuses about to destroy the economy and eventually humanity? Or is this the best thing to ever happen to the modern workforce. If you're like most people, you probably can't decide whether you love this or hate it. Like maybe it's a bit creepy, but it's also so fascinating you can't look away. I mean, let's say you're an artist who has spent thousands of hours learning how to draw, design, model, shade, and compose works. And this new tech makes it feel like it's all being taken away from you. Like it was all for nothing. I've dedicated my entire professional life to honing my craft as a designer. And this AI created more high fidelity ideas in just a few seconds than I could create in several days. I mean, we could all go Amish and just reject progress. Or we could turn into Luddites destroying looms, which actually happened in 1912. Or taxi drivers riding in the streets over Uber's entrance, like I've seen firsthand in South America. But hear me out, this could be good for you. And besides, you can't resist the inevitable for too long. See, the internet destroyed millions of jobs, but it created 2.6 jobs for every job that it destroyed. And believe me, these aren't all programmer jobs or jobs directly related to the internet, although those do exist. The internet made it possible for any anyone to make money doing anything. I know someone who is a full-time cheese plate influencer. Yes, cheese plates like that. And I'm not just talking about frivolous influencer jobs either, although there's a ton of those. How about online counselors or SEO experts, digital marketers, even Uber drivers? The internet has made human jobs easier, more efficient, and more scalable. It's allowed anyone to reach a global audience of clients and customers. And it's the reason it's easier than ever before to run a one person million dollar a year business. And the same reason, if you're smart about it, that AI is going to make you a lot more money, not less, if you know how to use it to help yourself. And I'm not suggesting you become a machine learning expert or an AI super genius or work directly with AI at all. I don't know how to code, just that you learn to use AI just like you learned how to use the internet when it went mainstream. But you have to remember, if I wanted to get anything even close to this level of quality just one year ago, it would have taken at least 100 times longer. 
probably more. Think back to the 90s though. The ability to type something into Google Images and have an image appear in front of you instantly would probably scare some artists back then. But Google Images is already here and it's leveraged by artists to create new ideas. I think Dolly and AI will be thought of similarly in a couple of years across all sorts of professions. Artists and designers can start projects by generating ideas and then improve them manually. Like let's say you're a chair designer and a client commissions a chair that looks like an avocado. Boom, 15 concepts in seconds. This could have taken you a whole week of work. Now you can focus on making tweaks and bringing the vision to life. Or let's say you're a movie set designer who needs storyboards. A couple clicks and you've got ideas for days. AI will create new jobs and make existing jobs easier, drastically increasing productivity and making abundance more accessible. So the question for you really is, are you learning the right skills you need so that you can leverage AI to 100x your output with the same amount of work for you? Or are you like Blockbuster Video, who didn't take up the internet fast enough and went to the way of dinosaurs? If you're sitting around wondering why life is so hard when your neighbor's kid makes $100,000 a month doing TikTok dances on the internet, it's because the internet created free and infinite scale for media. And it has enabled millions of people to make money in ways we never dreamed of. But AI is low cost, infinite scale for production. Let me explain. While the internet allows you to reach millions of people and sell them something with no variable cost, AI tools allow you to create the things you sell with no R&D cost. You can create 400 shoe concepts in about four hours when this would have taken weeks before. Hopefully you're beginning to see that this will revolutionize work as we know it. The good thing is right now you have a choice. Ride the wave to the top or get left behind. Over at DigitalNomad.com, we teach people how to start a work from anywhere ad agency and replace their nine to five income, even as a complete beginner. And it's all made possible by technology. But for you, it could mean you come up with concepts faster in your job as an avocado chair designer, or as a blog writer, you edit blog posts instead of writing them from scratch. It could mean as an attorney, you review AI generated contracts instead of writing them from scratch. Or as a developer, you piece together pre-written code instead of starting with a blank screen. AI gives us access to what the rich already have access to, leverage. See, technology democratizes luxury goods and services. Uber lets you ride in a private car, just like the rich. Airbnb gives you vacation homes around the globe, just like the rich. And AI democratizes the means of production. Think about this, Elon Musk can come up with an idea and have thousands of his employees implement it, working around the clock, coming up with hundreds of concepts to narrow it down to the right choice. But this was never possible for the average person. They'd be stuck implementing the idea on their own and most likely never even get started. Just like only a news anchor used to be able to reach millions of people on demand, and the average Joe was stuck proselytizing about how he was abducted by aliens to his family, that's all changed. The internet democratized media. It made global reach accessible to the little guy with just an iPhone in your pocket, even for this guy. Anyone can go to Twitter and talk about how the earth is flat or how you've seen aliens in the night sky and it can reach millions of people for better or worse. No global media budget needed. AI will democratize production in much the same way. It will get rid of the need for a massive workforce and allow the average person to produce at a scale that will have seemed like science fiction just a couple of years ago. Infinite human creativity and not just the TikTok variety, but actually creating things outside of new dances. Just look at this 3D printed mirror fix designed by AI, a shape that a human couldn't conceive of that works better than anything a human could have designed. It's more lightweight, it's less materials and the same day print schedule. Anything you want in your home, designed perfectly for its exact use case. That means products on demand and personalized media on demand. Soon enough, an individual will be able to request a full length movie to their exact specifications from beginning to end and an AI will immediately create it in mere seconds. Don't like the plot line halfway? Change it halfway through. I, I don't think you're giving us our due credit. Our scientists have done things which nobody's ever done before. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. Like, if you want to watch a movie about a giant bunny in Hollywood, here you go. Or teddy bears who overcome all odds and make it to the Olympic swimming event. Or a skyscraper that reaches all the way to heaven. Or how about Black Jesus? It's yours. Look out a little longer and you'll be able to create entire worlds on demand. Someone could say, Los Angeles during a blizzard with elves running the government. They can put on their VR headset and be right there. That's a very real possibility. In 10 years from now, the media landscape is going to be so different, 
you won't even recognize it. A fantasy world of your own creation? It could be the end of humanity as we know it. If Stranger Things on Netflix is so good that it keeps us all night binge watching, imagine we're having a genie in a bottle that can give you a whole world of anything you can imagine or desire could do to your productivity levels. We are on the cusp of an entirely new world. Unless, of course, there's a plot twist, and this is not AI, but instead just an overworked, speedy artist sitting behind a computer screen being forced to make every suggestion that's sent in. But I doubt that. Maybe one day we'll find out. If you like this video, please comment below and let us know what you think so we can keep making more free videos. And don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and hit notifications. My robot overlords will be very pleased.